We have a warning tonight about bank impersonators and a texting scheme targeting your bank account. Fall for it and you could be out a lot of money. A Delaware County man found out the hard way. Our Chris O'Connell explains. All it took was one very believable phone call, three text messages, and a Delco family was out 25 grand. Instead of stopping a wire transfer from happening, that I was actually giving authorization to it unwittingly. It was the phone call that changed Eric Westerveld's life. Three days before Christmas, his phone rang with a toll-free number he recognized. It appeared to come from his bank, Wells Fargo, calling with reports of suspicious activity. The convincing woman on the other end first rattled off some legitimate bank transactions he just made. Then one of the last things she mentioned was a pending wire transfer for under tw almost twenty five thousand dollars. And she, of course, asked me if this was legitimate. I said, I've never sent a wire transfer for any amount of money in my life. Absolutely not. She's like, well, we're going to have to take some steps to put a stop to this. And she said, I'm going to send you some text message codes. I just need you to repeat the codes. We're essentially going to put a stop to this wire transfer. In just a 12-minute call and three text messages, he initiated a wire transfer of just under $25,000 from his family's savings account. Eric says within a minute, he called back Wells Fargo. He was told to go to his local branch in media, only to find out he was scammed. The money was gone. In a written response, Wells Fargo said he was responsible for the online wire transfers. The claim was closed. It was obviously emotionally disturbing and embarrassing. I mean, you know, you, you, have, to t you have to tell your family this and stuff. I mean, it really caused a hardship over the holidays for us, as I imagine it would any middle class family. This isn't money that we can afford to lose. He has since filed reports with the Upper Providence Police and the State Attorney General's Office. On its website, Wells Fargo tries to raise awareness for the latest common phishing and imposter scams, but even Westervelt, who considers himself tech savvy, says scammers are getting more sophisticated. You just don't really understand, I think, as the average consumer, even someone who's sharp and up on these things, exactly what's right and what's wrong, what's false, what's real. It's very, very difficult. Now, we've been in touch with a spokesperson from Wells Fargo. They said they needed more time to investigate this particular case, but they have promised us a statement. We've also included a link on our website to some tips to help prevent these kinds of scams. In media, Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News.